This tutorial will show you how to create a simple vase for 3D printing in Blender step by step. The tips shown in this tutorial will help you use Blender to create your own 3D printing projects. Let's get started. Open a new Blender file. Press the delete key to delete the default cube. Click on the add tab, hover over mesh, and click on circle. Press the tab key to enter edit mode. Press F to create a face, then click on the face tab, then click on poke faces. Hold shift and use the right mouse button to deselect the center vertex. Press E to extrude, press Z to lock the extrusion along the Z axis, type in 1.5, then press enter. Press S to scale, type in 1.5, then press enter. Press E to extrude, press Z again, type in 1.5, then press enter. Press S to scale, type in 0.6, then press enter. Press E to extrude, press Z again, type in 1.5, then press enter. Press S to scale, type in 0.6, then press enter. Press E to extrude, press Z again, type in 1.5, then press enter. Press S to scale, type in 1.5, then press enter. Press Tab to switch from edit mode to object mode. Click on the blue wrench to open to the modifiers panel. Click on Add Modifier, then click on Solidify. In the Solidify Modifier panel, set the thickness value to 0.2 and the offset value to 1. Expand the Edge Data tab and set the Crease Inner value to 0.5. Click on Add Modifier, then click on Subdivision Surface. In the Subdivision Surface panel, set the Levels Viewport value to 3. Our mesh is almost there, but if you look at the underside, you will see wrinkles at the bottom. To clean the bottom up, press Tab to enter Edit Mode. Hold Alt and right-click on the bottom ring to select it. Now hold Shift and right-click on the center vertex. Press I to inset faces and type in 0.15. Press Tab to switch from edit mode to object mode. Now we can export our vase into STL format, which is used in 3D printer slicing programs. Click on File, then hover over Export, then click on STL. Set the scale value to 23, name the file, and click Export STL. Our base is now ready to be imported into your favorite slicing software for printing. If this video was helpful to you, subscribe for more 3D modeling tutorials and tips.